All right, so this is a question that we had by message. This is what one of our hide boxes looks like and is. Um, we don't gatekeep. This is from Dollar Tree and we put the hole in the top and then we missed it and the substrate in it is um, peat moss. Um, there's different places you can get it. If you ask me, I'll send you in the right direction. And then we keep it sprayed. It's the orchid sphagma moss. Orchid sphagma Depot. moss bought we'll from Home Depot. We'll send a picture out if anybody needs it. Um, but this is what we do. So it's in here. It's not soaking wet because you don't want them like sitting in water all the time. Although we're about to show you how to do that too in a minute. But this is what we put in there for two reasons. We put it in there when they're um, hard shedders. So it keeps them moist. So when they do get ready to shed, it's an easy shed. And I also think it helps with um, anybody that has um, bad feet sheds. Um, and then we also use the same type of box with our nesting females or our breeding females. Sorry, I'm tired. Um, and this is actually where our females like to lay eggs. The one in front of me is a male, so it is not for that purpose. But for him, it is for his shedding. There he is. All right, so this is what we soak in. This is just a tote. And it does have a lid and our lids have holes in them. So well, once the animals are in, they're not getting out. All right, so it has just enough water for them to go into. Brett's gonna put him in. Now he's not in shed, it's not gonna hurt him, but this is just so we can give you a visual. And then we would go like this. And that water is warm, not hot. We don't wanna cook the geckos. And if you look, he's just walking around and when they need to shed, a lot of times they actually will kind of dip themselves in the water. So if you have a hard shedder, we would leave them in for 15, 20 minutes. You want that water to stay warm, not cold. Um, if you get them cold, yeah, that causes, it causes another issue. If you needed to, you could definitely swap the water out if it gets too cool. Um, and then that's what he looks like. And there you go. That's how we soak.